ਬੁੱਧੀ ਹੱਥ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਹਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੁਣ ਇਹਦੀ ਵੀ ਬੁੱਧੀ ਲੱਗੇ ਕਿ ਪੋਸਟਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੇਰੀ ਮੋਟੀ ਬੁੱਧੀ ਤਾਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਚ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਬੱਚੇ ਕਿਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਬੁੱਧੀ ਲਾਵਾਂਗੀ ਨਾ ਚੱਲ ਲਾਈਕ ਕਰ ਦੇ ਤੂੰ ਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਲਾਈਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਲਾਈਕ ਕਰ ਹੈਲੋ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਆਈ ਲਾਈਕ ਇਟ a quint production well we the view anything and everything under the sun i am gadima sadwani and in this episode i will tell you do i like joyland joyland is a 2022 pakistani drama directed by saim sadik who also wrote the film with maggie briggs the film though critically acclaimed has run into many controversies in the past year it was even banned in pakistan at one point yeah that's right The film that won the jury prize and the queer palm at Cannes and was Pakistan's official entry for the best international feature at Oscars almost didn't get released in its home country. Crazy, you know. So what actually happened was that Joyland ko release hona tha 18 November ko, okay? But 11 November ko Pakistan ki Ministry of Information and Broadcasting ko अचानक से लगा कि ओ सिंस द फिल्म शोज अ लव स्टोरी बिटवीन अ ट्रांस वुमन एंड अ सिस मैन ये तो थोड़ा हमारा मोरालिटी एंड डिसेंसी कोड्स को वायलेट करता है एंड इट बैंड इट्स रिलीज मतलब अचानक से नहीं ऑब्वियसली देयर वाज अ सस्टेन्ड कैंपेन अगेंस्ट द फिल्म बाय रिलीजियस एंड राइट विंग फोर्सेस बट थैंकफुली अ काउंटर प्रोटेस्ट आल्सो टुक प्लेस अगेंस्ट द बैन हैशटैग रिलीज जॉयलैंड सरफेस्ड ऑन ट्विटर एंड इवेंचुअली द मिनिस्ट्री क्लियर्ड द फिल्म फॉर रिलीज ऑन 16 नवंबर दो तब तक उन्होंने थोड़ा सेंसर कर दिया था उसको एंड पंजाब प्रोविंस में तो खैर रिलीज करी ही नहीं उन्होंने ये फिल्म एंड नाउ मंथ्स लेटर द फिल्म वाज फाइनली फाइनली स्क्रीन्ड इन दिल्ली एट द फोर्थ एडिशन ऑफ द हैबिटेट इंटरनेशनल फिल्म फेस्टिवल एंड भाई साहब व्हाट एन एक्सपीरियंस इट वाज टू वॉच द फिल्म देयर बट बिफोर आई टेल यू अबाउट द जॉय ऑफ हैविंग वॉच्ड जॉयलैंड एट इंडिया हैबिटेट सेंटर दिस पास्ट वीकेंड I wanted to tell you that you can check out other episodes from this series as well as other podcasts from the Quint on our website or wherever you catch your podcasts from. ठीक है, getting back to the screening. So, Habitat Film Festival had released their schedule in advance about which films they were going to screen. And in a surprise move on Thursday, they announced that Joyland will be screened on Saturday. And within an hour the passes were gone. Thankfully, I got a media pass. Vanna I swear I would have cried so so much but actually there were lots of people who came for the screening you know just to try their luck ki kya pata walk in entry mil jaye and it was so beautiful to see people lined up for 45 minutes just in the hope of getting to see this pakistani film and honestly it was such a beautiful community feeling and it made me so happy to have this weird bonding experience with everyone while watching the film the whole crowd laughed screamed clapped sang along to biba and finally clutched on to the armrest of their seats and cried at the end when the lights were switched on there were silent sobs in the entire auditorium people were quite even as, as they exited the place tum khud socho jahan logon ko har cheez pe hot takes dena pasand hai wahan ek pura auditorium speechless baitha tha yaar aur khair ho bhi kyon na the entire team of joyland has done such a stellar job matlab chef's kiss ekdam from the writing the direction the cinematography the acting everything has been done with such beauty that the skill and craft of cinema shines throughout it's truly a film that makes you believe in the magic of cinema to tell you a little bit about it without giving any major spoilers of course joyland revolves around a working class family in lahore the main characters are heather played by ali junejo biba played by alina khan and mumtaz a role beautifully beautifully essayed by rasti farooq so heather is actually the younger of the two sons in the rana household abba ji the patriarch of the family has zindagi mein bas do masle ek to heather naukri nahi karta aur uski biwi mumtaz ko bahar ja ke kamana padta hai and secondly that the family has no male heir this stings him all the more because heather's older brother salim and sisters in law nuchi just had their fourth baby girl another failed attempt at giving abba ji a grandson but pretty soon in me se ek masla to hal ho jata hai when heather lands a job as a background dancer in an erotic theater production this is also actually where he meets biba a trans woman and the act's lead and falls for her and man so stunningly does he fall but you know the art of joyland's writing is such that 
आप जब ऑडियंस में बैठे होते हो तो आपको लगता है कि हाँ यार यही है यही है फिल्म की सेंट्रल प्लॉट लाइन द लव स्टोरी बिटवीन हैदर एंड बीबा एंड दे बिकम द प्रोटेगनिस्ट इन दिस फॉर यू द स्टोल इन ग्लांसेज इन पब्लिक हैदर हगिंग हर ऑन द टू व्हीलर हिम स्टैंडिंग हप फॉर हर बाई एक्चुअली सिटिंग डाउन इन द वुमेंस कोच ऑफ द मेट्रो एंड द टू ऑफ दैम किसिंग इन द बाई लेन ऑफ लाहौर आए हाय यही तो आप देखने भी गए थे ना वैसे नहीं इंटरनेट पे जितनी साइनोपसिस और समरीज अवेलेबल थी फिल्म की उन्होंने भी आपको यही बताया था कि जॉय लैंड इज़ अ फिल्म अबाउट अ स्ट्रेट मैन फॉलोइंग फॉर अ ट्रांस वूमन इसलिए तो पाकिस्तान ने ऑलमोस्ट बैन भी कर दी थी ना पर नहीं यार नहीं जैसे हम और आप भूल जाते हैं मुमताज़ को हैदर भी भूल जाता है पर पिक्चर नहीं भूलती है उसे मोर दैन हैदर एंड बीबाज लव स्टोरी जॉय लैंड इज़ द स्टोरी ऑफ मुमताज and her desires stubbed by misogyny at every step of life this film is the only thing that doesn't invisibilize her if that is even a word in a society that actually does joyland is actually also the story of nochi and aunty fayaz the neighbor it gives them space to occupy too it gives them wings to rebel even if those wings are cut down by the men in their life but most importantly joyland is mumtaz's story It's the story of what it means to harbor desires in a society that doesn't allow you to dream. It tells you that liberation comes at a cost and it's not a cost that everyone can afford. The sensitivity with which this film shows you the patriarchal hold on the lives of Pakistani women and the loneliness that they are cornered into with nowhere to go, no one to understand them. That that sensitivity is beyond beautiful. So you might as well have gone to watch a trans love story unfold on the screen. But what you are left thinking about long after the end credits have rolled is Mumtaz's story. What could have been and what it became. So finally, do I like Joyland? Man, I loved it. I loved it so much that I cried while watching it. Then again while reviewing it, and I think I'll probably shed a tear every time I think about the fate of its characters. Safe to say it's a movie I'm not forgetting anytime soon. It's a movie that doesn't let you forget it anytime soon. Joyland is a film that breaks your heart and makes sure that you won't recover from it. So I definitely recommend that you watch it whenever it's released in India or whenever it's screened next because it might make you cry but it honestly deserves all your tears. That was all for this episode. Thank you for listening. Do I like it is a quint original podcast executive produced by Ritu Kapoor and Shelly Walia hosted by Garima Sadwani and produced and edited by Kriti Ghai It uses audio from the film Joyland and the theme music is from BMG You were listening to the Quint's podcast